Cyprus has it all. Beaches, forests, lakes, mountains, even snow and so much more. I'm living here in Cyprus for three years now and I know all of the good things that you need to do when you're coming here. So if you're planning to travel or move to Cyprus, definitely make sure to watch this video until the very end and without further ado, let's go. Hey, I'm Riku Go and I make awesome videos about Cyprus, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. First travel tip if you're coming to Cyprus is very, very important and that is eat a local food. If you're coming to Cyprus and you're planning to go to a fast food restaurant or something like that, then make sure I don't see you because here in Cyprus we have so many beautiful local Mediterranean Greek cuisines that you need to try out and eat here. You need to try out Mese, which is basically a buffet here in Cyprus with Greek food. If you go to any local restaurant, they already know you're coming for Mese because you get so many different tastes of food. You get bread, you get vegetables, meat, fruits and if you're a vegan, there is even vegan um, Mese. So also try out the lemons on the streets. Make sure it's not a private garden, but visit local family restaurants, eat all of this good food here in Cyprus and if you don't know where to go, go to local villages in central Cyprus, so basically in the mountains even. There is a village called Omodos, I will write it down right here so you can remember that and when you're coming to Cyprus you can go and visit this local village because there are many awesome restaurants and actually a lot of tourists as well. Not everyone is at the beaches which is the most common thing to do here in Cyprus, which is fine, but you also want to get to know the local side of Cyprus and the culture, right? And this is actually leading to travel tip number two if you're coming to Cyprus and that is drive around the island. Rent a buggy, rent a quad, rent a car and even rent a boat if you want to, because with a German driving license you can drive a boat here in Cyprus, but only do it if you know how to ride a boat. And Cyprus is a small island, so you can literally drive from the very end on this side to the other end within a few hours. So make sure you use that. You use being able to drive over the whole island and seeing everything that there is. Don't just arrive at the airport, go to your hotel and stay at the hotel all day just because there is a beach. You can do that anywhere, but make sure to see everything and don't just stay in one city. I actually have a separate video giving my top tips on where to go, which actual spot and you can click on that video right here that you also see the exact spots that I recommend here in Cyprus. There are for example waterfalls, there is the Akamas, there is a nature park, wreck chips and so many other beautiful things. You have to watch that. Now tip number three. Very important because you actually need to prepare your rentals here in Cyprus. Car rentals and Airbnbs and other rentals are actually more expensive than you expect here in Cyprus just because it's a small island and a lot of tourists come here during the summer. It's up in the millions and obviously if there is a high demand of something the price goes up. So make sure that you compare prices online before you're coming to Cyprus and everybody knows how to do that. So make sure that you book your full rental before coming to Cyprus. You should arrive here in Cyprus, get to your car and already go to your property. Don't arrive here without any plan and then you will just spend a lot of money for taxis, for rentals, local prices higher. Hotels at the same day, very more expensive, so be aware of that. And then tip number four is something that is very important to me and that is going to networking events. Because when I go somewhere, I like to be on my own for some time, but I also like to network and get to know the people that are also in this new place. And Cyprus is one of the best places to do that. Cyprus is a popular tourist destination, but also a lot of entrepreneurs are living here, such as me. So definitely go to Facebook, for example, type in Cyprus, look what's going on over the island, and you will go out and meet people that are also going to those events. Go to hotspots, something like the Limassol Harbor, Paphos Old Town, or in Lanaka, the Finikudis Beach, you will see a lot of people there. And just socialize, even though it's sometimes awkward, just when you're alone, especially go to places where other people are and get to know other people. That's how life is fun, right? So also what you can do is you can go to the local website cypressmail.com and then you see what's going on on the island with like major events which is very common in Limassol for example at the promenade and at the harbor there are sometimes very big events like boxing events dancing events marathons and things like that where it's just common to go there and have fun 
tip number five travel tip number five for cyprus very important especially if you're coming during july and august and maybe you already know what i'm talking about it can get very hot here in cyprus and if i mean hot i mean really hot especially during july and august it's like 40 degrees celsius so make sure you're prepared for that and make sure to not go sunbathing during midday where the sun is just very strong and very aggressive make sure to wear caps if you're very light skin make sure to use sunscreen because it can be dangerous and i just want to let you know about that so that you do not come here and you will stay at home all day go out during the evening cyprus is an evening culture in general or in the mornings for a walk also one more thing and that is the mosquitoes we do have a lot of mosquitoes here yes um probably like anywhere in the world but here because we have this climate uh, humid climate there are maybe a little bit more mosquitoes than in some other countries and cyprus has so much more benefits to offer even living here i myself i'm living here for a long time now and i have my business established here i have many friends here and on my channel i'm sharing my personal lifestyle here in cyprus so if you want to see more of cyprus make sure to subscribe to the channel i'm very happy to make more awesome videos leave a comment with any questions i'm happy to answer them and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video